What's up, y'all? This is F Strike Jazz here with URM. Today we're interviewing Icon the God. Oh no, how you doing? Okay, Icon, tell us what kind of artist are you? I'm an all-around artist, versatile. I can do anything, whether it's hood, trap, swag, party, females, lovey dovey. I I do it all. Okay. Um. So, but what 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 do you focus more on? Like, what is your specialty? Bars, bars, and more bars. That's all you get from me every time. Okay. So what kind of category would you put that in then if it's just bars? Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip -hop. Pure hip hop. So what kind of music did you listen to growing up? Uh, 92. I'm a 90s baby. Everything from Wu Tang to Nas, Biggie, early Eminem, all that scoped in my style. You know? And when did you first start recording? When did you realize that, you know, as an artist, you wanted to start rapping and making songs and everything? The middle of high school. I, uh, I actually went to school with uh, Jinx. Shout out to Jinx. Reggie Street. Um, we was in the same school. We used to go at each other battling at lunch times and stuff. But that's when I decided, like, yeah, this is what I want to do. And from then on, it's just been grind season. And what was your first song? Mind blowing. It was it was a uh, <laughs> it was it was an old school flow, but it was about like not doing drugs, uh, staying in school. I did it with my little cousin. Yeah, it was positive. So do you make more positive music, or is it more you know? I have positive messages, but it's just in the form of something that most will perceive as hood music, but it still got a positive message in it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, what inspired you to rap? Some of your inspirations. I don't want to sound cocky. Bad rappers inspired me to rap. I basically heard bad music, and I was like, man, I could do that better. So I started working it, and just as it grew, I started to do it more and more, and I liked it more, and I liked it more, and I was like, yo, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just keep doing it. So you just like took their songs and remixed them or? Not so much as that, but it's, it's just like like stating back to when I said I'm versatile, I would, I would hear a trap song I don't like, so I would write my own trap song and it'd be better than their trap song. Or I would do like a love song, it'd be better than their love song. And then it just evolved, you know what I mean? So how did you know it was better than theirs? Like did you get good feedback from it or? I get, I get a lot of good feedback. I appreciate everybody to listen to my music, but I got good feedback. It was like, yo, you need to drop a CD. So that's when the CD started getting in the works, dropped my first CD. The first CD did good with the downloads and the views. And now I'm working on my new project. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about your new project? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a cross between, it's two CDs merged into one. I have RAF, which is more of the radio commercial, and then you got Underrated, which is more of the underground bars, grimy, gritty type stuff. I can't cuss, kind of. It's more the underground type shit that, that real hip hop niggas like, you feel me? And I basically merged the both of them. So like battle rapping, kind of? Yeah, kind of. Okay. It's, it, it gives you the competitiveness of a battle rapper, but the, the lyrical content of like Eminem meets Kendrick, okay. you feel me? Okay. Uh, what, what are some of your standout moments? Like, what are some things that happen? Uh, Afram. I performed at Afram, African American Arts Festival. That was that was fun. It was, it was so many people, but it was hot as hell. Um, I got to do a, a contest with DTLR, uh, Hot 16, and fortunately I didn't win. Um, but uh, I got good sponsors. I got to hook up with DJ Reds, uh, got his contact info, and I've just been working ever since. So next time that I can do it, I'm going to win. Okay, so where can people find your music now? I'm on SoundCloud. You can find me official dash icon. Instagram, official underscore icon. Same thing on Twitter, official underscore icon. My personal Facebook page, I don't give it out a lot, but it's Kevin Icon Ben. And I, I answer everybody back, because I would want people to answer me back if I hit them up. I'm going to have to also ask, because I know, like, when I hear rappers just say, like, such and such the God and stuff like that, like, where did you, like, get your name from, like, 
when did you realize you wanted to be icon the god like where did that where did that all start I, when i cemented it that i wanted to do hip-hop i was like i don't want to be beat and i want to be looked up to everybody looks up to an icon can't nobody be the god that makes sense you know, god the icon ain't sound too good so i said icon the god combine both of them So again, tell people where they can find your music. Official dash icon on SoundCloud. That's where you get all the new stuff. Beats 2. Official underscore icon on Instagram. Official underscore icon on Twitter. Kevin Icon Ben on Facebook. Catch us every Sunday on undergroundradar.com to see new interviews, photos, and more. See you there. Let's go. We need a generation of positive, chill people. I was a little girl that thought you can't do anything. I know that this can be something more than just a rap beat. I just want to be able to be a voice that does stand up. This is an underground block. You got to aspire to be better. I want their stories to inspire other people around the world.